now. <laughs> uh, this palette. The modular. The modular. Controller. By the way, the video sucks because they show photographer doing photography things in the last, like, 20 seconds of it. They actually show the device. Okay. So <laughs> I'll have a little bit to show here. What is the deal with palette and how, when am I, am I getting it to use it with Fire Wirecast here? Yes! It, it does look like it. I, I clicked the wrong thing. I actually did accidentally pull up the porn earlier. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, I didn't switch the camera. But uh, but what is this thing? So it's it's actually, if you're familiar with, what do they call it, Aria from Google, that's the modular phone. Okay. This is like a modular control panel for... And it looks like they're going to support a ton of applications. You can see here in the video, they're doing a lot, a lot with um, uh, photo editing. Mm -hmm. But you, you're going to be able to assign everything to these buttons and sliders and dials. So this is the thing I want for live switching on Wirecast. Exactly. So this will work with anything. Like it was saying about how it's it's really good if you thrive in Adobe products. Yeah, I'm guessing they're going to. It seems like Adobe has a an easy customizable plug-in piece where they can probably write to that first. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine that they're going to keep it just for that. Um, you can see they're doing it in Premiere. I'm sure there's going to be something for for the more experienced people like us that are going to be able to let us map it to either keyboard commands or whatever. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I see this for people, especially like you, um, that do video or or people that do audio or or whatever mm -hmm. um being able to customize your own switchboard that because i mean one of the things i'm looking at I, I i'm seriously looking into the idea of taking a laptop putting wirecast on it and that's what we live switch for like hd video mm -hmm. i just i haven't figured out uh entirely what what i need to do for the input outputs for it um, and I'm looking into some boxes, and I had some that didn't really work out, and, and what do we do for cord and stuff. Um, but, and that always works, because I, I use a keyboard here to do the switches like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'd be nice to have, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it'd be nice to have um, that thing I can set up, like this guy does in the video. He's at, at a photo shoot, and he sets it up, plugs the things in and everything. And I have something that I don't have to worry about hitting something else in the middle of a live wrestling production. And mm -hmm. just lose everything, right? Um, I mean, of course, we do redundancies upon redundancies. Otherwise, but still, you you really want to make sure you're covered with that. And just uh, this this is a deep consideration for something like that to be able to do something like that. And I don't know buttons for tile or for titles and and stuff like that. I mean, I think it's it's completely it's completely possible there. So I like it. I like it. I and I, I put it on my on my Pinterest board. Because um, I learned how to use Pinterest after last week's social media day. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so with that, we got to get out of here so the guys can talk video games over on Bass, ba Bass Battle. It's a fishing podcast, apparently. <laughs> uh, and Bass Battle. My dad from has the, the Wii mode or Wii controller for the fishing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. They had one of those for the Dreamcast. But anyway.